Hey folks, I'm attorney Roger P. Foley and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Florida Statute 856.011. What is that? Disorderly intoxication. Yep, we're going to talk about being drunk in public. That's what everyone, you kind of make sense, right? Disorderly intoxication. Well, the statute has two subparts of it. There's subsection A, subsection B. Subsection A basically says that you're intoxicated and you're endangering another person or their property. So maybe if you you were drunk out of your mind and you fell through a glass plate window, right? Well, that might be dr disorderly intoxication, but that's not really how it's charged. Most of the time in, in South Florida, the way disorderly intoxication is charged is when you're intoxicated, you're drunk, right? And you're out in public and you're creating a nuisance, a, a public disturbance. So you're loud, you're coming out of the bar, woohoo, yeah! All right, go Dolphins! Yeah! And, and you're screaming and hooting and hollering. Well, that happens all over. Um, and, and that's why I say this charge is one of those charges um, that is all, one of the statutes, I should say, one of the statutes that are overcharged by police, right? Because a lot of things have to factor in for disorderly intoxication to occur. First thing, it can't be on private property. So if you're throwing a party at your house and people are yelling and screaming and they're drinking, well, you're on private property. If the police show up, well, they can arrest you for anything. We've all found that out. Everyone watches the newspapers and watches the news and reads newspapers and sees what's going on. And, and you kind of got to get arrested for anything nowadays in South Florida. But if you're on your own property and or public, I'm sorry, private property and you're loud and boisterous and you're drunk, and you're creating a disturbance, well, guess what? It doesn't apply because it's private property. So the courts have, have thought about those cases and they've already gone through you know, everything that there is and the courts have found that you cannot be convicted of disorderly intoxication if you're on private property. Okay, so what if you're downtown Fort Lauderdale, downtown Clematis in West Palm Beach and you're coming out of, out of a, a club and you're hooting and hollering and you're screaming, well, there is an argument, but there's an argument against as well. Your level of intoxication. Are you fall down drunk? Because the statute talks about being intoxicated. It's not your normal faculties are impaired, sort of like in a DUI, the ability to walk, talk, see, hear, and act in emergencies. You can drink, you can have a buzz and, and walk. There's no crime against that. So it's the level of intoxication mixed with the level of public disturbance. So if you're doing it in downtown Clematis and so is thousands of other people, is that really disorderly intoxication? I argue that it's not. And, and that's ultimately what a jury would determine. Um, but if you were, let's say you were in a quiet neighborhood and there was a park at the end of the street, or let's not say park because maybe they're already closed, but let's say you're walking in the street in a public neighborhood and you're drunk and you're screaming and you're yelling and it's two o'clock in the morning in a residential neighborhood. Well, then maybe they could sustain a conviction on, on that disorderly intoxication. But coming out downtown Fort Lauderdale, downtown West Palm Beach, there's so many cars, there's so many people, there's dancing, there's alcohol. That's part of all the fun, right? As long as you're not getting into a vehicle um, drunk, you, you're doing okay. So if you're charged with disorderly intoxication, contact my office, contact another reputable attorney, look at what your actual defenses are because there are a lot of defenses to this charge. And again, it is one of those charges that is um, one of those statutes that are often overcharged by police. So I'm attorney Roger P. Foley. If you have questions, you have concerns, uh, give me, give my office a call. Thanks.